Hi and welcome. My name is Mass and I'm going to conduct the Catalog Context 101 presentation in the WooCommerce Masterclass for you. So both for the CMS and for WooCommerce, everything needs to be populated for the request. The CMS needs to know and populate the content node that we are looking at right now. And we do that by creating a content page inside the CMS that pointed at a controller that has the responsible for rendering the layout. When that is requested and we are rendering the layout, WooCommerce needs to know what we are looking at right now as well. To do that, WooCommerce is using a component called Catalog Context. Catalog Context contains business logic that helps determine what we are looking at automatically. So we can always ask the Catalog Context, what are we looking at right now? Either it uses query string parameter or what there already has been set on the catalog context to do so. To do this, we have another concept called data-driven pages. It is a concept of determining what we are looking at right now based on the URL. So far, during the masterclass, we have created URLs by adding in a query string parameter indicating to WooCommerce what is the current catalog data that are in the context right now and which should you re return back in the view. In this case here, we are looking at a product page on our Avenue closing site. The URL is what we call a nice URL. You can see that in the end of that, there is a little payload. And that is actually what WooCommerce used to determine what are we looking at right now. So in this case, when we are presenting a product, it means that we only need to have one dedicated page to present the products in. So based on the payload in the URL that you can see up there, we can switch up the data inside this dedicated product page. So what makes up a data-driven commerce page? Both the CMS and WooCommerce are context-driven systems. Both WooCommerce and the CMS are context-driven systems. The context for both systems are populated by the request. So that's the input that we get for the customer when he requests a new page. Both the CMS and WooCommerce needs to understand what the customer are looking at right now. The CMS will then resolve based on the context, the content page that should be delivered to the customer in our case, and WooCommerce will then deliver the data based on the populated, which we have used the WooCommerce API for in the masterclass. For example, the catalog context, the current product, current category, and so on and so forth. So when we created the dedicated category or product page, we created a content page inside the CMS which corresponded to the request that you are sending to the CMS so that the CMS knows which page to populate. Then we added in some query string parameter to specify for WooCommerce what are the current catalog data that we want to display for the customer for this request. And by doing that, we can use the WooCommerce runtime namespace to get the context and collect the data that we need to present on this given page for the customer based on the requested URL. So under the cover, this is what happens. In the beginning of the URL, we have the domain and then we have a slash product page. And that is telling the CMS what are we looking at right now. And if we have created that corresponding page or content inside the CMS, the CMS knows how to deliver that back. But we also need to make sure that WooCommerce knows what we are looking at right now. And to do that, we are specifying the query string parameter. In this case, we have the catalog and the product in the first example, where we are setting the catalog ID and the product ID, as you can see. This is helping WooCommerce to setting up the context. So when the, a request is coming in like that, WooCommerce and the CMS both knows what we are looking at right now. You can also in the second example, you can see we can also specify the category in there as well. So with WooCommerce, you can go in and specify the query string parameter, just like we have right here, to populate the context The WooCommerce knows what we're looking at. Or you can use the get nice URL on the catalog library to create some nicer URLs for your customer to request that will have that page load in the end instead. It will then be rewritten to something like this before we are requesting the content page and populating the context data inside WooCommerce. When we are developing with WooCommerce, we can then use the catalog context, which contains different properties that help us 
access the data that we need to expose for the customer. The catalog context lives down underneath the WooCommerce runtime namespace, which you will be familiar to during the masterclass as well. We have the current catalog group, which is responsible for resolving the current store that we are in. We have the current catalog and we have current price group, category of product as well. The key takeaway here is that both the CMS and WooCommerce needs to know what we are looking on right now. Everything is context driven and will be populated based on the will, both for the CMS and WooCommerce. We will use the catalog context to create that data driven page throughout the masterclass as well. Thank you for following along and good luck with the masterclass.